In this step I'll show you how to clean up the trucks as well as polish the metal trim details. This truck is mostly just dirty on the outside. The copper bearing caps are heavily tarnished and in need of a good polishing. The steel wheels are rusted as are the axles. And on this truck the center rail pickup roller was missing so this here is a reproduction part. Otherwise the pickup roller would be cleaned just the same as any other steel part. First thing to remove is the wheels. These can be taken out just by spreading the sides of the truck. It's very thick steel so these can be hard to unbend. They do eventually come out. And when taking the axles out you can expect to see the sides bend a little bit like that. Those can be bent back just as easy. No harm done there. To remove the pickup roller just go in there with a flat blade screwdriver and gently pry it open until it comes off. Just like that. And once the first side is released the other one is pretty easy to get off of there. The last parts to come out are the bearing caps. These are real easy, just two tabs holding them in. I only undo the top one there. The copper's real soft, so it's easy to unbend. The first thing I'm going to do for the main truck frame is run the top of it through the wire wheel to get rid of that rust and corrosion there. This doesn't take long. Okay, the top there is nice, clean and shiny now. Before I do anything else, I'm going to clean this up in the sink with soap and water. That'll get rid of any dirt and dust that's on there, and then I'll see for sure if it needs any more work with the wire wheel. Okay, that one looks pretty good after cleaning with soap and water. Just a couple tiny spots that I'm going to touch up with the wire wheel. And for this, I'm going to proceed with caution because the blackening can be weak on these trucks and if it rubs off then the truck will have to be re-blackened or repainted. The blackening held up well on here so I shouldn't have to do any more work on this part. On another truck I did the blackening did wear off and I had to repaint it and for that I just used a standard Krylon black paint. Okay, next will come the wheels and axles. These are pretty well rusted and corroded so these are going to take some work, again with the wire wheel. These wheels were in especially bad shape, so even after the wire wheel, it's still kind of dark, pitted, and a little bit rusty. So to finish it off, I've mounted it in the motor tool there, and I'm just going to use some sandpaper to clean that up the rest of the way. You can get it polished up pretty well, but it will never look quite like new. Alright, these wheels are cleaned up pretty well now. There's still a lot of pitting, so I'll never be able to get them looking perfect. But they should at least have good operating qualities, and once they're in the trucks, they'll look at least decent. The axles are a bit easier. I start out with the wire wheel on them to take off the majority of rust and other crud and after they're mostly clean I put them into the drill press and then start that up and give them a final polishing with sandpaper. Once the wheels and axle are both clean I go ahead and slip the wheels on there and give them a test spin before adding any oil. If they're spinning very freely, and this one is, then I know that they are good, and I can go ahead and put in the oil. That should improve it even further. Now that the wheels and axles are clean, I put them back into the truck. I found that it's easiest to start with the middle axle and then move on to the outer ones last. 
and I'm going to go ahead and put the roller in. Before I can go in, one of these tabs has to be spread away from it just a little bit. And then the spring is placed on there. And then feed the wire through that hole in the top of the truck. And then this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Can't easily show it on the camera, but I am bringing that back latch around there. Once that's in place, can bring that forward and take the rest through. Now to secure it in place. Take these pliers here, hold that in there nice and secure. And then I take the screwdriver and pins that inwards. Now that that's in there, should be able to move up and down freely still hold down nice and firm for a good electrical contact. One of the nice things about these copper details is that even though they can get extremely heavily tarnished like this one here which is almost black all across the front they can still be polished up to a mirror like shine pretty easily. To do it I'll be using a felt wheel on the motor tool here and ivory polish and just a little bit of lemon oil. First thing I did was to put a little bit of the lemon oil on the tip of my finger and I spread it around the felt wheel. That'll help the polish to hold on there just a little bit better. Now to get it on there I'll just turn that on and, and now I've got plenty on the wheel for starting the polishing. One thing I'll mention before starting is that this is an extremely messy process and quite a bit of dirt can get everywhere in a hurry. This one here looks acceptably horrible on the side, so let's go ahead and start on that. This can also get pretty hot in the hand. Washing generates quite a bit of heat. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So I'll just wipe that little bit of gunk off of there. And that practically looks like a mirror. This part's just about done now. And the polishing process can leave quite a bit of black gunk behind, so I use a clean polishing wheel to try and take off whatever's left there. And that's all polished up real nice now. It's just about impossible to get all of the black crud out of the little crevices I've found, but I've at least gotten most of it so it'll still look good in the end. This is one of the steps that came from the passenger car. As you can see, the tarnish and corrosion is severe, and my polishing compound can barely even scratch the stuff. And with the shape of this, it's practically impossible to clean. So, I'm just going to get rid of these, and I'm replacing them with brand new reproductions, like this one. This one here is from another passenger car that I'm also working on. If the steps look like this, with only light signs of tarnish, then they're still good to use. There's no need to replace them. This is the rear deck railing from a number 712 passenger car, which I'm also working on. Brass parts like these are polished just the same as the copper ones. The main difference being that these take a little more work because they're harder metal. These parts are all polished now, 
and since these are pure copper I need to clean them up and clear coat them very quickly because I found that they can begin to tarnish again in a matter of a couple days. I've now cleaned the parts up and given them a clear coat of lacquer. Lacquer dries very quickly and these should be ready for handling in about a half hour to 45 minutes. I like using the gloss lacquer coat from a spray can. Seems to do a very nice job and it preserves the metallic shine very well. Lacquer's all dry so we're ready for the final step here now. So I'll just take the cap there. It's got the one tab still bent from before. Loop that around in there. Now just take a small flat blade screwdriver and bring that up just like that. Try and get it nice and flat in there. And the difference is extremely obvious. So that's the end of this step. Next I'll be moving on to window material, lettering, and some of the final details.